Over the years, quite a few street names in Montego Bay, Jamaica have been renamed. The reasons for renaming streets in Jamaica vary, but usually it is done to honor those that have given a lot to their community. Recently, Kingston Mayor Delroy Williams made a promise to remove some colonial area street names from the capital city. What do you think about this idea? And if you agree with this sentiment, what do you think about renaming our parishes? Well, all that's for our next video. So let's get into this one. Our first street is Gloucester Avenue. The Montego Bay hip strip, officially known as Gloucester Avenue and often referred to as Bottom Road, was officially renamed Jimmy Cliff Boulevard in 2019. James Chambers, popularly known as Jimmy Cliff, is a well-known Jamaican musician, Grammy awardee, and member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Jimmy Cliff Boulevard is where we have many duty-free gift shops, restaurants, bars, tourist attractions, and a few hotels. It is the area that tourists tend to frequent do you love this new name change if so let me know in the comments below before we move on did you know that there is a Gloucester avenue in london england number two sunset boulevard Montego Bay's Sunset Boulevard was renamed Godfrey Dyer Boulevard in 2019. Sunset Boulevard is the stretch of road that extends from the roundabout at the Sangster International Airport to Jimmy Cliff Boulevard. If you are coming from the other end, it starts at the intersection where Jimmy Cliff Boulevard ends and Kent Avenue begins. Godfrey Dyer is a well-known businessman and hotelier in Montego Bay. He's a former president of the Montego Bay Chamber of Commerce and Industry and chairman of the Tourism Enhancement Fund. How do you feel about this name change? Let me know in the comments. Uh, before we move on, Sunset Boulevard is also the name of a major street that runs through Hollywood, the center of the American movie industry. On to number three, Quebec Avenue. In 2020, Quebec Avenue, the stretch of road that connects an intersection in Ironshore to the community of Norwood, was officially renamed Dr. Horace Chang Boulevard. Dr. Horace Chang is the Minister of National Security. The roadway is often used by motorists as a bypass. It was renamed to commemorate the work that Dr. Chang has done in the constituency and in particular in the Norwood community. How do you feel about the renaming of this street? Let me know in the comments. Number four, Charles Square. Before 1976, Sam Sharp Square was called Charles Square. In that year, it was renamed in honor of our national hero, Sam Sharp. In 1983, the Sam Sharp Monument, five statues depicting Sam Sharp speaking to four people, were unveiled. The whole area is a heritage site with several heritage structures. Sam Sharp was executed on May 23, 1832 because of the part he played in the slave rebellion of 1831-1832. And most recently, we have Southern Cross Boulevard, which was renamed in honor of Tony Hart in a renaming ceremony held on August 20th, 2022. Mr. Hart is widely considered the brainchild behind the development of Montego Freeport. Freeport is the home to a thriving development hub with hotels, numerous apartment buildings, office complexes, shipping facilities, restaurants, commercial facilities, and a shipping pair. Not to mention the free zone area which is the home for a massive information technology sector in the end the development of montego freeport has done much to drive the economic growth in montego bay A 
in 2016, there was a ceremony for a number of newly named roads that I'm going to list now. The first, AGS Combs Road, named after the late former Minister of Communication and Works, AGS Combs. In my research, I found another road named after AGS Combs. It's called the AGS Highway, and it's also the Bogue main road so that road has two names number two arthur gilchrist boulevard after the late former mayor of montego bay councillor arthur gilchrist charles e sinclair road after the late former mayor of montego bay councillor charles e sinclair clarence nelson drive after the late former custos of st james clarence nelson francis tullock road after businessman and former minister of tourism Francis Tullock, Glaister, Glaister or Glaister? Glaister de Haney Close or Glaister de Haney Close after businessman Glaister de Haney or Glaister de Haney, not sure yet. Mafisanti Drive after developer and builder Giuseppe Mafisanti and Dr. Marker Brown Road after retired medical practitioner Dr. Marco Brown. Then we have the two roads named after Theodore Whitmore. The two roads named after Whitmore are Theodore Whitmore Crescent, the section of roadway from the Howard Cook Boulevard turning onto Montego Bay Road, and then right at the first roundabout in the southerly direction, passing the Catherine Hall Shopping Complex, Mega Mart, to the second roundabout and Theodore Whitmore Close, the section of roadway from Theodore Whitmore Crescent to the Montego Bay Sports Complex, Bleachers Car Park. Mm?